Hey everybody, Tar Heel Trimmer here. It's a little loud on the street today, but I wanted to get somewhere out where I could actually walk around and show you what's uh, done to the truck. I've had the truck a little over a year now, so this is gonna be like a one year review. There's about 5,600 miles on it. We're gonna start with the outside, then we're gonna go inside, and then I'll do a test drive so you guys can hear the, the cold air and the muffler. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so if you remember, probably one of the first mods I did was this, uh, these stickers, which they're super thick. Uh, they've held on really well. So this was definitely worth the buy, uh, around 50 bucks or so. Uh, it hasn't filled up at all, as you can see. So definitely, definitely worth buying. Uh, the next one here was uh, <clears throat> this Factor 55 um i think i should have went with the round link just because this shackle i like it or flipped it over maybe i'll flip it over because this shackle kind of gets in the way of the of the <clears throat> the engagement uh bar so that's one thing i don't like uh, if it kind of stayed over here more but it's just basically where the cable's at so if it stayed over here it'd be a lot less intrusive uh, still, you know, I think it's very solid. Uh, I don't know that it's worth uh, 200 bucks uh, or whatever how much it costs. I don't remember, but it's it was close to like 150 to 200 somewhere around there. I don't know if it's worth it for that, but uh, I guess you know, it, I'm, I'm not scared it's going to you know break and leave me hanging. The next one is a little dirty, but this bar uh, it's been working really well in fact i'm gonna flip the lights on in a minute and uh yeah this is still holding up fine this jerry rigged uh bar that i made to hold it on so it's still working great let me flick the lights on and show you what it looks like with the lights on so here's what it looks like super bright especially for harbor freight can't be beat none of the lights uh broken or anything there's no condensation in it so yeah definitely worth the money for that the next one is these harbor freight lights and i have them on the sdhq brackets best brackets ever thank you to the uh commenter that left a suggestion on there this is definitely the best bracket you can get definitely worth the money don't go with any others these working great still let me flick the lights on so you can see those as you can see super bright even in daylight definitely worth it i mean i think i spent like 60 bucks on them i know they're cheap but they work okay so the next one was the rims uh that i wanted to go over i went with 18 by 10 negative 24 kept the factory tires uh <clears throat> this is i can probably go a little bit bigger but i didn't want to replace my tires they were brand new and uh if i ever want to go bigger i i don't want to go with a 20 inch rim so this is the rim i'll keep i'll just go with bigger tires and lift if i ever get that far but i'm happy with these uh <clears throat> they're a little hard to clean just in here uh maybe i'm just being a little bit lazy but yeah uh like the tires they run smooth haven't had any issues with them yet and they do stick out just a little bit here's the other side okay so the next item on the list is this retracts this retracts is awesome uh <clears throat> it's not an automatic one it's the manual so i got it unlocked now As you can see, it, the only thing that I am questionable about, it does leak a little bit. I need to research that, uh, but I think it's around the hose area. I don't think it's on this itself. So I, the fact I can pretty much lock it anywhere is awesome. Great buy. 
The next one is this dual liner. So a little dirty, but you know, form fitting, kind of semi drop in, semi uh, bed mat. You know, this this here, you know, fits to a T to the bed. And then the bottom bed mat is just a heavy duty rubber mat. I like it. You know, I can always remove this if I don't want it anymore. So I think it was around 500 bucks. Definitely a uh, good buy for this one too. Um, I'd probably buy one for my next truck just cause, you know, I don't have to worry about, you know, the, uh, the liner, the spraying liner chipping or anything. I know it's got a, you know, lifetime warranty on many of them, but this is something, this has a lifetime warranty as well. So here's the S&B cold air intake. Great so far. I can definitely tell the difference. A lot more airflow. Seems a lot more uh, pick up and go than with without with just the normal stock filter. So I don't know. <laughs> I know it's not really horse power gains. Maybe like 10 horsepower. You, you get it because that's what you want. Who cares if it gives you 10 horsepower or not? If you like the way it sounds or like the way it feels, get it. But as far as the different products, I think S and B is a leader among the most. Just the way they, you know, create these boxes. I mean, there's a few that do it, but yeah, definitely, uh, definitely recommend S and B. I've put them on all my trucks that I've had. The plate from Talon's Garage. Let's see if I can get a better view of it. That plate is solid. Uh, it's a pain in the ass to change the oil, but I mean, it's a trade-off. Safety and security versus time of effort to change your oil. You ain't gonna change your oil every day, every week. So I believe it's a solid product from Talons and I would definitely buy it again. I didn't do a video on this one. But I usually put pedal commanders on my vehicles. No issues whatsoever with it. I mean, it's, it's like 300 bucks. So it is kind of pricey for like a cheaper mod, but I still, you know, I still love this thing. My bullet point mounting setup, I changed things around a little bit. I still have the iPad holder. You know, it's like one commenter said, he wishes it was metal. Uh, I actually have the metal one for the phone. You know, they should have done this. I would have paid 20 bucks extra to have a metal one versus this cheap plastic stuff that you can get off of Amazon that's made in China, right? You know, if they'd have just made a metal one, come on, bullet point, make a metal one for this. We'll pay extra for it for quality. I mean, this is still a quality product. I just got tired of uh, using, trying to expand it for my phone every time I get into the truck. So I'll show you what I got in a second. But yeah, I mean, it's still, you know, it's still great. great. I haven't used it too much. I don't really use my iPad in here that much. I just have it in case I want it. Um, I have added this point here, the four point uh, system and added a GoPro mount. I have my, uh, my mount from a Garmin dash cam. It's been working great. So on to this one. I bought this when I bought the GoPro setup. Uh, I like this one here a little bit better. As you see, I have a pretty thick uh, case on mine. It sticks no problem, see? It takes a little bit of force to get it off, but it hasn't moved since I've got it on there. And they actually give you, so if it doesn't stick for some reason, or if you don't have MagSafe, they give you like two, uh, two little metal rings to put on your phone case. And then you can still do your Mag, do MagSafe even without it. Really like this product. It's a lot simpler than, you know, trying to open up and put your phone in. Okay. So the next product I'm going to show you is the console vault. Great product. Very solid vehicle specific. I got the upgraded uh, lock on this. You can spin it around whenever the code isn't right. It'll just keep spinning. And then there's a little lock right there. See? So then you just put your code in and you press the button and you turn it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. It's very solid construction. I love this thing. I mean, it's definitely worth $300 to throw whatever crap you want to in here. Uh, put your gun. You know, put your documents, your registration, or whatever you want to, and you ain't got to worry about, you know, nobody's going to be able to pry this thing open and get into it. It's going to take them way too long. So, yeah, definitely recommend this. If you have, you know, $400 or whatever to spend on something, get this product. Okay, so for the last one on the inside, 
It's these tux mat floor mats. Uh, overall, they cover great. Uh, these clips hold in really well. These, co it covers everything really good. The only gripe I have is these. The tape on these sucks. You know, you can see all these are off. I mean, overall, it's still sitting there. But as soon as somebody starts opening the door, you know, they, they start to peel up because it's just a little bit too wide, I believe. If it, it was a little bit more narrow, kind of went to like here and just go across, straight across here, you know, I think it would have been better. You know, there's, this is always going to have friction here, friction here. So they need to redesign the way they do these. And it goes for pretty much all of those. They suck, man. But they are still kind of sitting where they need to be. As you can see, it covers really well. It goes way up here in the back. As overall products is good, but they need to finalize on the delivery of these. So that's something to think about. I mean, it's still a good product, uh, $200. I still think it covers better than your WeatherTechs or your Huskies, and they're a little bit, they're softer. I love the product except for that one, that one gripe with these. <clears throat> Let's take it for a drive. So you can kind of hear what it sounds like uh, with the cold air and kind of gauge like the get up and go of it. So now I'm gonna uh, show you what it sounds like in inside and see the noise level of the muffler. So that's it for today. Uh, just wanted to go a quick overview. As far as the truck is concerned, I have 5,400 miles on it, a little over 5,400. The only one gripe I have is I think between third and fourth gears, uh, it has, it still has like a rough shift. Hopefully I'll get better with time. If it doesn't, I'll just take it in. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, you know, it has great power. It seems very reliable. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Knock on wood. Hopefully with the mods that I have, some of the stuff that I've gone through with, especially with the ditch light brackets, it kind of helps you decide, you know, what you want to do to your vehicle and if you want to do anything. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you stuck around this long, love you all. I really appreciate it. Taro Charmer, out.